Welcome to this instructional video for the assembly of twin ferrule fittings into a body. If you're going to assemble thick wall tubes for high pressure applications, please see our instructions with pre-assembly stud. Collect all the tools you will need before you start. To avoid squashing the tube, we recommend the use of a proper cutting device. Although it is possible to use a sharp tube cutter, to avoid deforming the tube, you should use the minimum possible pressure. Note, when using a tube cutter, the pipe will flare to the inside, thus reducing the bore diameter and deforming the inner surface of the tube. A smooth open bore is therefore not guaranteed. Deburr the tube ends, internally and externally. Remove all sharp edges. Properly clean the tube, removing any residue. Double check the cut face. It must be at an exact 90 degree angle. Check if the tube ends are cylindrical. Use a caliper and turn the tube by 360 degrees. Respect the Schwer fitting's tube tolerances. They should be neither too high nor too low. U2 couplings from Schwer fittings are delivered cleaned, packed and ready for use. It is not necessary to remove the nuts and rings before assembly. The front and back ferrules are within the nut which is assembled finger tight on the body, thus ready for use with the tube. Put the body with the hexagon into a vise. Make sure that you can still turn the nut. Insert the tube into the body. The tube must fit into the seat of the body. Turn the nut clockwise until it is hand tight. Mark the nut as well as the tube in a visible position. We recommend the six o'clock position. Use a spanner and turn the nut one and a quarter turns. The marking is now at the nine o'clock position. Tightening the nut causes the front and back ferrules to grip the tube. The coupling is now ready for use. 